All right, so today on the woodworks, it's summertime, so I thought we would do a couple salads. I think the key to making a good salad is you have to make the effort to be creative with it. You can't just say, let me buy some lettuce, a cucumber, tomato, and throw it in a bowl, because you'll get tired of it. There's so many great salads you can, you know, go online and research. I've kind of adapted a few to what I like. So this is the summertime salad. It's a half a cup of dried cranberries, two cups of chopped apple, two cups of arugula, a half a cup of chopped walnuts, half a cup chopped celery, half the seed of one pomegranate, one tablespoon of fresh mint, and in the dressing, two tablespoons of mayo, or you could use light mayo, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon red wine vinegar, one tablespoon lime juice, one tablespoon lemon juice, half a tablespoon of fresh thyme, and salt and pepper. That's your salad. It was very easy to put together. So what I'm gonna first do is I am gonna whisk the dressing in this bowl, but I'm gonna just put all the ingredients in the bowl. So start with the arugula. Gonna add the apple. Gonna add the walnuts. And I'm maybe not gonna add all of them and see how it looks. Gonna add the celery. The same with the dry cranberries. I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna leave a little at the end. I love pomegranate, so definitely gonna add all of these. And then I still have the mint on the side, but I'm gonna just kinda of mix this together to see how it looks, which it already looks fantastic. And apples, the sweetness of the apples with the dressing is gonna be really great. The same with the cranberries in here. So, here we go, got it mixed around. I am gonna add the rest of the cranberries and I'm gonna add the walnuts and the mint, the rest of the walnuts and the mint at the end after I do the dressing. Okay, so that's all set. Let's get my bowl. Let's get the mayo in the bowl. The olive oil. Lime juice, lemon juice, red wine vinegar. Let's get the thyme in there. A little pepper, and just a little salt. And then just gonna whisk this together. So you have the mayo in this to make it have that appearance of like a creamy ranch style dressing. I hate ranch dressing. It's pretty gross to me, but I know people love it. But this just gives it the appearance of a more creamy style dressing. I'm gonna add a little more salt, a little more pepper, and I am gonna give the dressing a taste just to make sure it's good. So let me grab my spoons. Oh yeah, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna add the fresh mint to the salad. And I'm gonna leave a little to garnish. Same with the walnuts, I'll leave a little to garnish on the plate I make. And that's it, I'm just gonna whisk this a little more. Add the dressing. Gonna hold off on using it all, cause I'm gonna, you know, see how it looks. See if everything's coated. Oh yeah. This, this looks awesome. I don't think I need the rest of the dressing. This looks pretty good. All right, so there it is. There's my summer salad. I'm gonna plate it up and try it, see how it is. I mean, I think it's gonna be fantastic. So let me plate it up, try it, and then we're gonna move on to another salad, which is gonna be the cucumber tomato salad. Gotta try the, the summertime salad first. Gonna get some apple, some of the arugula. Oh, 
I just got a little taste of the fresh mint too. Mmm. This is so good. This is like restaurant, restaurant quality salad for sure. Mmm. This would also be good instead of the apple, pear. You can use pear. Um, anything that's firm that would hold up against the dressing. But I love salads and I love being creative with them, but this is fantastic. Mmm. Walnut, some mint, cranberry, celery. So good. And the key to a good salad is fresh ingredients, which I had today. So try it at home, enjoy it. I'll be right back. We're gonna move on to the cucumber tomato salad. Mmm. Great. So now we're on to the second salad, which is a cucumber tomato salad. And let me run down the list of ingredients for you. One pint of grape tomatoes sliced in half. One English cucumber diced up. Half a medium red onion uh, chopped up. And then for the dressing, half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon juice, tablespoon of honey, teaspoon of Italian seasoning, um, one tablespoon minced garlic, and salt and pepper. That's it. Very simple. I got my cucumbers uh, going in the bowl. Tomatoes going in the bowl. And then the red onion, which I'm not gonna put it all in there. I'm gonna mix this around to see, you know, how it looks. Don't want too much onion. Maybe a little more. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically the salad right there. And I love cucumbers and tomatoes, the combination together. And I especially like the English cucumbers. Uh, my family here is not fans of them. Right, you guys like the regular cucumbers, right? I didn't know they were different types of cucumbers. Well, these you can eat the skin on it. English cucumbers. What are, you, what are you, you looking like? You don't eat the skin on regular cucumbers? Nah, it's too bitter. This ain't bitter. <laughs> you knock yourself out in the way you do things. <laughs> I try anything. <laughs> okay. So now the dressing is very simple. But I'm gonna use this little shaker bottle, uh, which I use from time to time. As I'm making a salad, it's easier just to dump stuff in here and then shake it up, and there's your salad dressing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the olive oil in there. With the balsamic. I'm gonna put the garlic in there. And not, I'm not gonna put all of it in there because I'm not really sure don't want to have too much garlic in there. And the lemon juice. Got to have that citrus, the honey. And then the Italian seasoning. And same thing, I'm not going to put it all in there. And then I'm going to I'm going to add a little little pepper, a little bit, and just a little salt. Right, and then just gonna shake it up. Make sure it's on tight. There it is. There's your salad dressing all done, just like that. So I'm gonna put some on here. not gonna overdo it, because I can always just take this shaker bottle and put it in the fridge and then use that later for another salad. So. Okay. 
gonna put a little more on there. And I think that's good. That's it. That's your cucumber tomato salad. All done. Uh, I'm gonna plate it up, come back and taste it. Okay, so I got the cucumber tomato salad. I'm uh, gonna give it a taste. Definitely wanna get cucumber and a tomato. Mmm, so fresh. Get some of the onion. Mmm. The crunch of the cucumber and the onion with the tomato is awesome. I just love the combination of tomatoes and cucumbers. But this is very simple, fantastic salad. And of course you could add to it, <clears throat> you could add arugula, you could add lettuce, whatever you want. Make it your own, what you like. This is what I like, I like to keep this simple and then have like my entree with it. Fresh summertime salads. That was the theme of the woodworks this week is the summertime, because we're celebrating. The new kids are coming back. We're going to Fenway. We're doing our thing again. So I'm very happy. So I would like you to join me tomorrow for a live stream at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, where I'll kick it off by making some sangria, and you guys can add your salads to it and kind of have a little summertime celebration moving forward out of this pandemic. Um, hope you enjoy the salads, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>